Welcome to Wembley and the fourth Thames Television Junior Gymnast of the Year competition, the most important event for the young hopefuls of today aiming to become the champions of tomorrow. Well, no fewer than 50,000, yes, 50,000 young gymnasts applied to enter the qualifying competition, which started back in September. Now we're down to the last 16, eight boys and eight girls, hoping that today will bring them some reward for all their hard work. The special training area at Harlow Gymnastics Club where the important preparations take place for the big competitions. Usually the spotlight is on the club star name, Barry Winch, the British champion who finished a brilliant second in last month's Champions All. But for the moment, attention is focused on two very young men taking last minute words of advice from coach Mitch Fenner before the biggest competition of their lives. Richard Ellis at 14 years old. Won now the big day has arrived and with the competition just minutes away, Richard, Gary and all the other gymnasts get their first taste of Wembley. The other boys, all under 16, will be well known to Richard and Gary from competition and training camps. In particular, Neil Thomas from Ellesmere, 15 years old, a favourite, now in his third junior gymnast final. And there's James May from Devon, bronze medalist in last year's competition, gold medalist in the recent schools international against Iceland. The competition equally tough for the girls, all under 13s. The favourite is 12-year-old Andrea Bridgeford from Manchester, the British school's under 13 champion. But she'll be aware of the challenge of Nancy Clark from Haverhill, a member of the Loughton Club and a member also of the winning team at the National Schools Championship. So the climax of months of work and qualifying competition, the final of the Thames Television Junior Gymnast of the Year. Commentators Monica Phelps and John Taylor. Michelle Laney, 12-year-old from Crewe, from Crewe and Nantwich Gymnastic Club, a very good young gymnast. First of all, to Sukahara tapped, rather a slow run and not getting a lot of lift off the top of the horse, but a good, safe first vault. Diane Newdale on her second vault, trying to beat 8-4, her score for the first effort. Slightly better, still not quite, quite controlled on the landing because she doesn't have enough thrust from the top of the horse. Elaine Woodhouse preparing for her second vault. The same vault from Elaine Woodhouse, full twist onto the horse, hands spring off. Debbie Clark to the asymmetric bars. She began with an 8.2 for her vault. Debbie's a very tiny gymnast, so she has to work with the bars very close together. Taller gymnasts can move the distance of the bars to enable them to have a variety of movements. She's having trouble with that handstand. She missed it twice. And now she's broken the whole fluency of the routine. The whole technique of the work on asymmetric bars is swinging and timing. And once this timing has been broken by an error, the gymnast has to use strength to complete the exercise and she's fallen off. She didn't get a big enough jump from the bottom bar, but she really should have climbed on to fulfill her dismount because her penalty bit will be quite substantial. It's got one really good vault under her belt. Well, it's very close between the first and second, but nevertheless, an excellent vault. Andrea Bridgeford, this year's star in the under-13 age group. And she'll keep that ranking with that vault. That's a half-on, double twist-off. Nicola Orti to the asymmetric bars. 8.25 for her vault.
Nicola really going well in this routine. Beating the bar, back up rise, ready for her dismount. Nancy Clark from the Loughton Gymnastic Club. She'll be eager to try and match, if not better, her teammate Jackie McCarthy, who did so very well at this competition last year. Some very advanced skills from young Nancy. Cast a handstand, beat the bar. And a shoot front dismount, a solid routine, but I've got a feeling that she left something out. It looks shorter than it is usually. James May. Any little gymnast. You use the board to spring over the bottom bar because some of them are too small without the assistance of a springboard. Had a consistent vault score and she's seen quite a few mistakes so all she needs to do is to get through to keep in the top group in this competition a well executed routine not with a lot of difficulty but she went through from beginning to end without any mistakes andrea bridgeford Oh, a nice move. Be, be dropped a handstand and hop changed. A very advanced skill for a 13-year-old. Eager to do a good routine because she's in the lead so far after the vault. She must land. This is where the marks go. And she did. A shoot from this mount and a good routine from Andrea Bridgeford. after two pieces. Andrea Bridgeford in the lead, Nancy Clark second, third Elaine Woodhouse, Karen Grindle, Diane Udale from the north. Right, we'll take a break there. Part two of what's turning out to be an excellent competition in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Wembley. Our leaders at present, James May in the boys' event, Andrea Bridgeford in the girls. Let's rejoin commentators John Taylor and Monica Phelps. The cheer goes up. This must be a very difficult moment for young Debbie Clark because she dropped right down to a score of only five on the asymmetric bars. And coming to the beam, feeling shaky perhaps, must be really hard for the kid. I thought she showed a tremendously good attitude as she came off the asymmetric bars. She really had had a disaster, but no tears, just a grin and bear it, and on with the competition. All part of the discipline of gymnastics. I've seen Debbie work quite a lot recently, and I think that that discipline has been instilled into her by her coach, Marion, because she used to be quite an emotional little girl. And on the big occasion, she's obviously being able to cope with those emotions. Debbie. Only one wobble and she heaves a sigh of relief. And her score, 8.2. A good mark and a just reward for a tremendously brave performance. Andrea Bridgeford with the handstand mount on that beam. She's the leader in this competition so far. Two pieces gone. Going for that very difficult Barani there on the beam with that half twist in Monica taking herself outside the line of the apparatus risking everything 
but obviously going to gain the rewards. Yes, she's just done two movements of risk. They get special bonus points for movements of originality or risk. In fact, she looked more unstable on that full turn than she did on the other movements. Routine, full of good quality. She's really giving her rival something to worry about because she has by far the most difficulty. And she's succeeded in everything. That was a great routine for Andrea. She's going well at the moment. She's had a good, good dance. Good beam, good, good, um, good vault. Can't run like that, she's working well. It's just whether she can keep it going on the floor and give another good mark on the floor. She's in with a very good chance, no doubt about that. She was at Wembley last year for the yeah. same event. The nerves got to her a bit on that occasion. Oh, yeah. She went to pieces and she had to set the standard on the beam last year and she completely went to pieces. It's a shame, really, because she was the youngest competitor in it last year. I mean, it's an awesome place when you stand up there. You've not had a lot of experience big crowd atmosphere just got to her when you got to her before the competition started when people started coming in she started going <laughs> Karen Grindle rather a simple but effective mount from the side of the beam the beam is four inches wide and it's got a suede non-slip cover it's only in recent years that it's become barrel-shaped to help grip and give an illusion of greater width for landing. I must say it's nice to see that Karen isn't trying more difficulty than she can cope with. She's not performed very difficult routines today, but everything she has done has been extremely well executed. Lack of anxiety of difficulty helps the gymnast to look and feel relaxed. A cartwheel full twist, a very competent and confident routine from Karen Grindle. Nancy Clark in second place in the competition at the moment from Loudoun Gymnastics Club. And she's coached by Colin Still, who was the coach to the British ladies team in the last World Championships. She's already seen Andrea Bridgeford perform really well on this piece of apparatus. Andrea in the lead at the moment. Bad wobble. She held on to it. What will she get deducted there, Monica? Well, easily point three, but I've never seen Nancy nearly so wobbly. In fact, I've never seen her fall off the beam in competition, so Andrea Bridgeford's performance has really uh, put the wind of her. Although Nancy's execution is brilliant, she hasn't got nearly so much difficulty as Andrea. So I'll be surprised if she gets as high a score. And there, really hitting her chest, relief at having got through it.
And Debbie Clark to the floor. Little Debbie who made tremendous recovery after so many mistakes on the A bars. A double twist, that's certainly a new skill for Debbie. I saw her in the regional qualifiers for this event, and she hadn't quite mastered it then. Nice middle sequence to whip back somersault from the single twist on the end. And a nice confident look on her face as she's performing. That's a very strong tumble there. Front two flip flaps and a full twisting somersault followed by a double spin. I thought that was lovely. And she had a nice smile to go with a jolly routine. Elaine Woodhouse lying in fifth position at the moment. She's just organized her mat ready for her first tumble. And now she waits for the music. And young Richard Ellis been, and young Karen Grindle lying in third place through absolute consistency. Just let's hope she can hang on to it. Double twisting back. good choice of music here really seems to suit her personality and the way that she performs her tumbles and her coaches, Lynn and David Club, will be proud of her. And 8.65, so Karen wins the Paul Lang Memorial Trophy for the highest mark on the floor today. Andrea 
Claudia Bridgeford, British under 13 schools champion, leading this competition so far. She just has to get through safely to be the winner of the Thames Television Junior Gymnast of the Year today. showing all the maturity of a seasoned campaigner at this level. It's in fact her 13th birthday on Friday, so what a lovely present this could be for her. Well, that must be enough. She had a good lead before she went on to floor. She made no mistakes. That must mean gold for Andrea. Now the final placing in the girls' event. A convincing victory for Andrea Bridgeford. Silver for Nancy Clark. And bronze for young Karen Grindle. Confirmation of the boys' result. James May, a tremendous competition. That 53.25, by far the highest total we've ever had in this event. Neil Thomas, after finishing seventh two years ago and sixth last year, at last a medal in the silver position, and Richard Ellis third. Barry, a fascinating day's gymnastics. What have been your impressions? What have you seen of her today? I thought the girls' work was really good. I, I like both um, first and second place. I thought they really had a good battle in that competition. I was impressed with both of them, actually. And the future very exciting. I hope so, yes. James, Andrea, many congratulations. Andrea, you look as if you really enjoyed yourself, but did you have any bad moments during the competition? Yeah, at first I thought about fell off beam, but after me, if he bound off, I felt steadier. <laughs> and James, for you, a, a marvellous victory with a record total. Did you know that that record was on? Uh, no, I, I didn't know at all. I hadn't thought of any of the scores before. But does it mean a lot to you? Because it's a personal record as well. It does mean a lot to me, because... Um, it is my best record and it's really good. I was pleased to get as high as I did. And in the longer term, the longer term future, where do you think you might go in the sport? Um, I'm hoping I'll do well. <laughs> be in the Olympics and World Championships. Yeah, I'm sure you will be one day. And your ambitions within the, fo within the sport now? Oh, well, I've got an um, international against Holland at the end of the month, so I hope to do well in that, but they're a bit difficult to beat. But, um, I hope to compete for the GB in World Championships. We're going to be hearing a fair bit of you, aren't we? I hope so, yeah. Congratulations once again to both of you. Thank you. So there it is, the end of a tremendous day's competition. Hope you've enjoyed it from us all here at Wembley. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>